All right. Hey there, folks. How you doing today? Hope all is well for you. Please uh, bear with any background noise you might hear throughout this production. This is something that I showed how to do before, but now we're going to do it in real time because when I did it before, I hit the deck off of the mower. And I want to show you that it can be done this way. And what I'm talking about is if you got yourself a riding lawnmower like this, you probably already know how difficult it can be to get the blades off of it with the deck on the mower. So I'm going to show you a real simple little hack that I came up with a couple of years ago that I've been using ever since and it works without fail. Now for starters, uh, trying to keep this as simple as possible, the only tools I'm going to use are those absolutely necessary. I've got a socket wrench of the proper size and in the event that I can't get it loose with that I got a breaker bar. You could also use a piece of pipe on the handle of your socket. And then I've got a piece of hay string. And this one ain't even a full length piece. This one's only about maybe three or four feet long here. But that's going to be plenty and I'm going to show you how to do it here in just a second. We'll start here on the side of the mower with the discharge chute. And I'm going to use this wedge just to keep it propped out of the way for now. You could really use just about anything. Then I'm going to make myself a loop in the end of my piece of hay string you want to make this like a slip knot loop that you can loop over the end of the blade oh. and I'm going to get under here find the end of my blade loop my hay string over it and I'm going to come over here to the little curb feeler tire and I'm going to wrap the remainder of the hay string around it three or four times. There we go. Just enough to where it doesn't want to pull loose when you start torquing on it. I'll reach underneath here with my socket. I forgot to mention it earlier, but I'll mention it now. You want to have your deck up as high as you can get it. And then utilizing a proven method of righty tidy lefty loosey. There we go. And just that easy. We got it loose. Now again, I'm doing this in real time, so we're probably about three or four minutes in now. But there you have it. So now that I got the blade sharpened up, I'm going to show you in real time what it takes to put it back on. You don't put your loop. You'll put your loop back over the end of your blade. Only this time, we're gonna 
fix it to where it tugs in the opposite direction. Switch our socket around. And apply a reasonable and necessary amount of force to tighten it back on. That ought to do it. Well, that was easy enough. Now I gotta do the other side. So just like that, that's really all it takes to change a lawnmower blade. Now I've got to get over and do the one on the other side. I'm not going to bother filming that because this was just to show you how to do it with the deck on the lawnmower. I hope you figured it out. If you have any questions or if you need to see something a little more in depth, I'd be glad to show you. Until next time, take care. God bless.